is a quick craft. On our last YouTube Live video, we had a request for a bow pillow. So we are going to make one using two and a half inch ribbon, a needle and thread, and fluff. I start by taking some ribbon. And I'm using a two and a half inch ribbon because I like the miniature pattern and I think it will help to keep my line straight. However, you can also use a cotton fabric and then just cut it down to size if you choose. The ribbon is two and a half inches wide and I am going to cut three and a half inches. So I cut once, then twice for the front and back of the pillow. This ribbon does have a wire in it, so I need to carefully remove it, stack and lay the ribbon good side to good side, thread a needle. On one of the long sides, I begin sewing about one third away from the edge using a straight stitch where I push the needle through the fabric Gently pull it from the back, then go back through the side we just came out, pull it forward, and repeat. On the sides of the ribbon where there is a factory finish, I can get the needle right up to the edge because I'm not worried about it unraveling. However, on the raw cut edge, I give it about a fourth of an inch seam allowance. I try to keep the stitches short, even, and close together. When I get close to the end, I leave an opening so I can turn it inside out. So here is our unstuffed pillow. Now I can add some fluff, sew the opening closed, tie a knot the thread, then take the end and push it through the pillow, come out in the center, cut off the excess to hide the end of the thread inside the pillow. Take more ribbon, Cut off a piece that can fit around the pillow. Remove the wire if needed. Fold over the sides. With the good side facing down, place it onto the center of the pillow, pulling the ends around the back. Pinch it to get the desired look. Sew a straight line across the ribbon, being careful not to catch the pillow. Tie a knot the thread. Trim off the excess. Trim off the excess fabric. Then flip it over to make a bow shaped pillow. We have seen these all over Pinterest and they are just adorable. I've seen them a lot with stripes and polka dots. I chose to do a flower because I just love this print. Here is a solid and that came out pretty cute. I'm making another one using some cut fabric and sometimes I find it useful to use a pencil to draw the line that I'm supposed to stitch on. Hand stitching sometimes has a tendency to get a little wobbly, so if I have a line as a guide, it comes out a little neater. Then continued, just as before. I brush the front with a layer of fabric glue, added glitter, allow it to dry, add another thin layer of glue, and I'm just gonna tap this on so that I don't move the glitter too much to make a glitter pillow. And you're done. Happy crafting! give a shout out to Moonlight91. What's up? Let's do a little surfing. I wonder if there's anything new on the school website. Huh, what's this? Who wants a messy teen drama queen? When you can be fabulous like me. My room decorated by only the best designers. I've traveled the world and learned like a zillion languages. Hola, ohayo gozaimasu. Yeah, so fabulous. So check back for fabulous vlogs, fabulous stuff, and fabulous me, Anna, our school's most fabulous vlogger. You have got to be kidding me.